Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you in your different various uh, time zones. Yes, we are back right here. And uh, for the past few hours, I've been analyzing and uh, basically studying the body language of frank warren and i would say frank warren has been exposed basically um he's trying to back basically backdoor anthony joshua in fighting his fighter favorite fighter outside testing fury daniel dubois for nothing basically i would go i would do another video where i talk about joshua versus dubois and why joshua must not fight Dubois for nothing on the line because he gets to gain nothing. So we talk about the 5v5 situation that happened in Saudi Arabia. It was an, an, an amazing event. Okay, Joshua was there present. Joshua has been more present in fights um these days. Um he went back to back to Saudi Arabia to watch the on display fight of course the 5v5 one which was both event were epic, good for boxing. Although the zone is bad for boxing, as he said, the zone are targeting people uh, uh, that don't agree with their own opinion or with their narrative. They, they leave channel that, that supports them. I'm a very objective person. I'm not a supporter of any broadcasting Right. I was a supporter of the zone, but I stopped being one. And I have to cancel my 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 subscription soon. Uh I'm I'm a little bit hesitant to cancel it because of Joshua. Because he fights there and I want Joshua fight there. I don't want to have any any, any you know stuff issues, stuff like that. But I think after Joshua fight I will cancel it, bro. Um yeah, me, yeah, I'm probably just buy pay per view for Joshua fight. Now Let's talk about Frank Warren and his um um him trying to back down to Joshua into fighting his fighter Daniel Dubois. We all know that Joseph Parker and Janjali have partnership with Queensbury Promotion, right? Everybody knows that. So basically, um Janjali is not solely of Frank Warren's fighter. They have a promotional modified deal. Dubois, on the other hand, is a different case because Dubois is solely with Frank Warren. He's been with him from day one, just like Joshua. Although Dubois hasn't achieved the source of Joshua that Joshua achieved for uh, Matrum. Joshua literally brought Matrum back to business. I believe without Joshua, Matrum would still be wobbling under the um, behind Frank Warren, basically. I mean, they would still be crawling behind Frank Warren. Because Frank Warren had the game on show for a very long time. He was able to beat Barry Hearn out of boxing. Because the boxing, uh, the boxing um, game is very dangerous in the sense that boxing there's a lot of politics in it a lot of tools a lot of connection a lot of people you need to meet it's very difficult okay i knew about this when i wanted to connect one of our nigerian uh, brothers who is a boxer to one of the big promoters out there it was crazy it was a very crazy task bro i was able to like i had to talk to Someone that talked to another person, that talked to another person, that talked to another person to even get to the main target. It was hard. So you need influential people in boxing to get where you are. <clears throat> it's not a game. You just come in and take charge. Unless you are His Excellency Tokyo Lashik, who is larger than life. I mean, none of the promoter can compete with Tokyo Lashik when it comes to uh, financial, finan uh, fin um, when it comes to money. Financially, Tokyo Lashik is like, 100, 100, 100 times 
100 times worth more than all the promoters combined. It's just facts. I know it doesn't say that on Wikipedia, but we know the Saudi, there is like, there is money and there is Arab money. The Saudi, the Qatari, the Abu Dhabis, that those monies are different kind of money, bro. Now, what Frank Warren is trying to do now, Frank Warren is basically doing something what I call, Frank Warren, in my opinion, is a biased promoter. I know at the end of Matro Boxing is a very open-minded person. At the end of Matro Boxing sees Frank Warren as a friend now, which he could actually be. But I think Frank Warren's aim is still to bring down Matrum. And not to bring them down, but to make Matrum is is a pet again. To make Matrum crawl behind him. Like you know in the, in the back in the days. And then him trying to like basically make Joshua fight Dubois for nothing, for no bet on the line, is a little bit diabolical. We know that we have um we have the press conference coming to June 26th. I know his SLSC wants to see the fights he wants to see, but Joshua wants to become a three-time undisputed heavyweight champion, and Frank Quarren has to pull the trigger. He promotes Fury and Dubois. Dubois, I know Dubois can be patient because he is Dubois is more of a compliment than Fury. Dubois is more loyal to Frank Quarren than Fury. I think so because although Frank Fury didn't start with Frank Warren, but they've managed to build um kind of relationship that is very strong. Frank Warren would defend Fury anytime, any day, anywhere. The same way he would defend Dubois. But because that's because Fury is like his cash cow. Fury is the man that brings the most money for Frank Warren. But Frank Warren is trying to build a new Anthony Joshua in Dubois. So Dubois is 26 years old and going against a more experienced, more older guy in Anthony Joshua. Dubois built his career on the sparring rumors with Joshua. Funny enough, Ergovich talked about sparring, talked about how he knocked Dubois out, talked about all those things. What happened was he got knocked. He got knocked out. Not knocked out, but stopped by the referee due to the cut and stuff like that, overflowing of blood. Then in round eight, so what does that mean? Sparring doesn't mean anything. Sparring is you basically you spar to to basically improve your craft, improve your skills. That's what sparring is made for. Sparring is not for like oh. Anybody can beat anybody sparring. But when it comes to the, the real fight, what Atlanta sparring, I can use it against you. You don't know that. You learn things in sparring. That's why you spar to learn to improve your skill set. So, what Frank Warren must do right now is to talk to Fury and say, Fury, I know you are fighting um, Usyk. In December, the rematch is on. I want Dubois to become a champion as well. You can fight for the unified Everwood uh, titles. Like the, there are three birds on the line. Now let Dubois fight Joshua because this is a chance that Dubois cannot mix. If Dubois doesn't fight Joshua next, Dubois will have to fight someone else. Maybe a Parker. Maybe an FIA Jagba. That's a that's a fight. Dubois will get beat by that. I know I know Ajagba beats Dubois. Because those right hands, those right hands that Dubois was like would Dubois Egovich landed fifty six right hands on Dubois in the first I think first three rounds. Bro, those right hands were so accurate. If Ajagba lands on Dubois, lands even ten of those on Dubois, Dubois goes to sleep. Because you cannot defend yourself by just a chin. Or just call thinking, oh, I'm strong, I'm gonna work. No, there are people who are stronger than you. You get what I mean? So, this is what I'm saying. Now, when you look at the whole atmosphere scenario in boxing right now, Joshua's goal is direct. Three time on three time world champion, then undisputed. 
In the end, laid out a very nice plan. A very nice plan. Joshua Dubois for the IBF title at Wembley. September 21st. The winner fights the winner of Usyk Fury to re reunify, reunify all the belts again. Maybe in April or May next year. Very perfect plan. So let's see it. Let's see what Frank Warren does now. Because Frank Warren is not pushed to the side, to the corner where he needs to make a decision. Because he can pull the trigger. That's facts. He can pull the trigger. So let him do that. Let him do that. Here's us below, guys. Like the video, share, subscribe. Uh, keep support the channel. God bless you.